So we're talking about the islandists, the, the case of the islandists, not doing, you can't do yibum to an islandist, right, and back and forth. Oh, it's crazy. Um, yes, yeah, so Osiris, like, so let me, uh, did, uh, did we do that? No, we're on the bottom line. So Osiris, right, Osiris is a guy who can't have kids. Shechalitz li'yivimtoi, and he did chalitza to his yivimtoi, like pasla. So it's not going to make a puzzle, right? That's the first part of the Mishnah. No, it's not going to make a puzzle because it's meaningless, right? We said this, uh, um, a Saurus who does halitza is meaningless. It's like me going over to a woman in the street and doing halitza and saying she's puzzled to a Kayan now, right? That doesn't, it's, it's, it doesn't do anything. So Mamela, she's fine, right? Um, but if they were Mizana, or if, you, if that's what you want to call it, then she does become, then she does become puzzled. So time is the Gemara on the bottom line says time is the Bible. The ball, who the reason is because they were boil, uh, meaning him, how boil who that he, the brother in law was boil her, so that's a mice's nus, and that's going to puzzle her from the kahuna, right? But if somebody else was boil her, I mean, because that's just the shemeris yavam, right? Meaning it's the woman waiting for yibum, and then somebody else, and uh, somebody else is boil her, then she's not going to become possible, which means it's not. It's not necessarily considered a mice's nose to make it to a sign of so the Gemara on Amr Aleph now. Let me tell you what the Rav Nuna. Why don't we say that's a Kashan Rav Nuna? Dama Shemeres Yavam Shizitz Absul Yavam. He holds it a Shemeres Yavam, a woman waiting for Yibum, and she's Mazanet. She's possibly Yavam. So our mission clearly is Mashmana. I like that. So my answer is like, who are they? Nafilu Lachan Ami. Even if she's Mazanet with somebody else. She is going to be puzzled to Kahuna. So then, why does the Mishnah only say that she's Mazana to the Soris, who is the brother in law? Because the Rasha has to be talking about him, right? It has to be talking about the brother in law. So, therefore, meaning the, the Rasha, um, uh, what is it called? The Rasha is talking about by the Chalitza, right? Which we said doesn't make her puzzle. So, Taninami Seven Bidide, we also said by him, but really it means any, if she sleeps with any man. Other than a brother-in-law that's kosher to, to be by her, then she is going to be considered zayin and also to the kahuna. Fine. And the next case is in the... In Why the is she of, a Shemeris Yavam? Are there other brothers? Must be talking about it. No, she's still... A, it, well, if there's only one brother that's a Tzadah, so she's an Aguna? No, she's she's Mutir Lashok, no? Mutir Lashok. No, but, but, yeah, but the Tzadah, I think, has to do... Uh, no, it doesn't do Khalid, so Depends which type of Tzadah. But uh, yeah, it must be you're right. It must be talking about where she has. So why couldn't the Gemara just answer? There's no other brothers in this case, so she's not a Shemeres Yavam. The Gemara could just could have just said that. I hear. Um. Uh, I from the Mishnah, there's no other brothers. Or the, or the Mishnah would have said one of the other brothers has to do it. Unless you say that that's still considered Shemeres Yavam. I mean, otherwise, how else does she get out of the Yivam? Why? She gets no Yivam, no Chalitza. She's not a Guna. We had at the beginning of Yivamas. Anyone who can do Yivam is, is, can do Chalitza. Anyone who can't do Yivam can't do Chalitza. But kind of... right, I hear. I, okay, but it's, it's a good order. Um... Anyways, okay, I don't know. I'll have to look into that. It should be a Pasha the Terrace, that thing, right? It should be Pasha. Okay, fine. And what's the next, last case in the Mishnah? An island is this, the opposite, right? She's the one that can't have kids. So time with the Balua, right? So the reason why she would become possible from a Kayan is if because she's she, somebody was Bailer. Aloy Balua, Aloy, but it, just somebody was not Bailer, then not Himan. Two is alike. The like Rabbi Huda, it's not like Rabbi Huda. The Rabbi Yehuda, our island is Zaina. We had this a bunch of blood ago. Rabbi Yehuda says an island is a Zaina, meaning island is din Zaina. So an island can't marry a Kayan. So our Mishnah is not like not like Rabbi Yehuda. Fine. Continue on the subject of Saris. It's like the Mishnah, Saris Chama Kayan, right? So Saris, who's a who's a, a Saris Chama, means he's from birth, right? He's he can't have kids from birth, and he's a Kayan, but and he gets married. Shenasa Bas Yisrael, right? Because he's allowed to get married. Machila, but Truma, he's a lot of feeder Truma. The, Mish- the Gemara is going to say what the Fiddish of that is. We have a Shimon Aimim, a new subject, Andragonist, Kayan. Let's say an Andragonist. So again, an Andragonist is um, 
somebody who's both has simonim of a male and a female, you know that you're typing the word Andreganus too many times in your in your iPad when you type in A and D R and it and it completes the word for you. Right? I can't imagine that's really built into the Apple, uh, to, to, you know, like to the steady to the steady things. <laughs> anyway, so uh, maybe, so you maybe you're sure. listening in on the dark web. <laughs> I know, yeah. I hope they don't send an investigation after me too with all the stuff that's <laughs> anyway. So I so Rabbi Yezer Rosh Hashanah and Dragon is kind. She knows the pasi so machila with truma. So so you can feed it. You can feed her truma, which means that essentially you're saying that an Andragonist is a boy, right? Mamish contemporaries is unfortunately contemporary sugis, but you're saying that an Andragonist is a boy, right? Otherwise he's marrying a lady and then she could eat the truma. Yudaimer tumtum, he says a tumtum, right? That's somebody who has no simonim, shenikra, that they tore the skin from in front of him, veninza zacher, and we find under that skin that he's a zacher, loyachlet, he cannot do chalitza. Memnesh Jehu kasaris, he's for sure going to be a saris, right? If there's no way he's going to be able to have kids, which Gemara is going to discuss. Fine. Andragonis noise, and I say this is, this is also can get quite interesting. Andragonis noise. And an Andragonist can marry a woman, Avaloi Nisa, but he can't be married to a man. Right? Meaning, again, I know Andragonis you said the Gemara is going to discuss it, but didn't we say Avram was a Tumtum two, three days ago? Avram was a Tumtum, yeah. Yeah. He, 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 had, he had a lot kids. of kids. Right. He had kids. And a Konami, I hear. That's a good, uh, it's a good horror. I hear. I don't know. Um, he had kids because he was by Rafmi. His Matthias changed. That's what Gemara yeah, said. Because, right, I mean, right. I hear. I hear. Um, fine. Anyway, so we're saying an Andragonist can marry a female. A male cannot marry an Andragonist. Yeah? Rabbi Yezer, I mean, Andragonist, Chayavan al Skila Kizachar. An Andragonist, you Chayav Skila like a Zachar, which obviously is going to need explanation because. What's the difference between the Eliezer Shita and the Shita we just said, right? You're looking, if, if, a, if it means if, you're, if an Andragonist cannot get married, a man cannot marry him, so then that means that it's two scharim if that happens. That should be skilo. Okay, so the Gemara says, Shita, it's Pashat. Why shouldn't a Saris who marries a Yisraelis be able to feed her Truma? So the Gemara answers, the same, only somebody who could have kids. Right, we said we said last week that the whole the Indian of a Yisraelis, of Bas Yisrael, marrying a coin that could eat truma is pshat that because since she could have kids that are going to be kahanim, so Amelis she's allowed into the club. Let's say she's 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 mothered into the club, right? But if she can't have kids, so then there's no sh- and what shaykhs does she have to kahuna? That's what you would think. Come on, Shulim Mishnah tell you no. Well, as long as she's married to a coin, that's enough to get her into the club. Fine. Now you guys are of Shimon Aimim Adragonus. So this sugya, it's actually Gishmaka sugya hilchus taruvus about all about mixtures, which actually in the practical comes up a lot. So, uh, but it can get a little, it can get a little technical. But let's say, so Rabbi Yisrael Shem say that an Andragonist who marries a, a Bas Yisrael can feed her truma. So that means that they're saying that he's a, he's a, he's a male. The question is, is he a male vada or is he a suffix male? Is it is it a vada a male or not? So Rishlach machila betruma. He could feed her truma, but he can't feed her of a shaykh. Those are the mountains kuna from an animal that go to the kaihanim. He said that he's not allowed to feed her. Rabbi Yochanan, I'm an af machil of a chazav a shaykh, and Rabbi Yochanan disagrees with her and he holds he can even give her a of a shaykh. Right? Meaning, because he holds, so clearly Rabbi Yochanan holds that he's a straight out zacher. There's no shail about it. And therefore, since the Andragonist is a zacher, he could feed her any mountainous kuna that happens. Rishlak is just saying it's a suffix of a zahra. We're going to say, we're going to go with suffix that it's a zahra, but it's a suffix. So therefore, suffix dairaisa, we're going to say a chaz of a shaykh is a, chaz, is a suffix dairaisa. Therefore, he cannot feed it to his wife. But truma would be a darabaran, so that would be okay. That's what I was going to say. So Rishlak is shmash no chaz of a shaykh dairaisa, truma name dairaisa. So chaz of a shaykh is dairaisa, truma is also dairaisa. And what answers? How am I asking? But Shumas is not a Zed. We're talking about this man a Zed. Which Shumas is the Rabbanon, right? Which then means that uh, okay, whatever. Like, that's I just don't understand what Chaz of a Shaykh means. Then if it's Bismana Zed, there's no Chaz of a Shaykh. Then Bismana Zed. 
So it must be you have to split the Mishnah, right? It's not to- what? What does it say, Bismana Zeh? Drabon, Truma Bismana Zeh. Truma Bismana Zeh is Drabon. I'm saying, so you're splitting the Tsugi. So Truma is talking about Bismana Zeh, and Chazav is not talking about Bismana Zeh. That's all. I'm just, I'm just pointing that out. Yeah. I, yeah. So you want to ask, I was Mancha Bismikdash Kayim Mai. So what would be the Din Bismana Bismikdash when Truma would be the rice? So then Loi, and Andregonus would not be able to feed his wife Truma. So at the Tony ain't machila because of a shaykh. So why are you saying that he can't feed a chazav a Why do you have to go on to chazav a shaykh? Lift like listening Why don't you just differentiate and learn by truma itself? That when can he feed? According to Rishakish, when could Andreganis allow his wife to eat truma? That's when when it's a truma de rabbanon. Of a truma de raisa life. Of a truma de raisa you can't. Meaning, why do you have to go? The Chazav Shaykh to teach you the difference between the rice and the Rabbanon, where you could do it within Truma without going into another sh- subject. So one answers, yes, you're right, that's exactly what it's saying. Kishu Machila, when it says that he, when he could feed her, meaning he, she's allowed to eat Truma, Machila, but Truma, Bizman Hazed, the Rabbanon, that she, she can only eat the Truma, it's Bizman Hazed, when it's Rabbanon, Vain Machila, Bizman Chazav. Because of a shaykh, and he can't feed her. Not not that it means he can't feed her chaz of a shaykh. He can't feed her truma at a time when we have chaz of a shaykh, which means bezman beis amikdash when truma would be a derisa. But feel the truma derabanon, and and even truma derabanon to do maasi laich lo truma derisa. Even bezman amikdash, and you have a truma that's a derabanon, which is by the way most fruits and vegetables because it's really just grain that's derisa, right? Fruits and vegetables is not the rice of truma. So even Bismana Mikdash, when it's Truma the Rabbanon, since you can easily get confused with Truma the Raisa. So therefore, what the Mishnah meant, what the Braisa meant by Chaz of is it meant that at a time when there's Chaz of when Truma is a Daraisa, so then even if you're eating Truma, even if you're going to feed her Truma the Rabbanon, it's not, you're not allowed to do it because of Chashash. Yeah. Fine. So then the Gemara says, Rabbi Yechonon, or Af Machila because of a shaykh. Rabbi Yechonon, he doesn't, he doesn't differentiate. He says he could even feed her because of a shaykh. So I'm going to Rabbi Yechonon Rishlokish. Me savras truma zanazed rabbanon. So Rabbi Yechonon said to Rishlokish, Do you really hold the truma zanazed rabbanon? I'm really in. Yes, I do. Why? Shani shayne igul ba'agulim ayla. If you have one cake of figs that got mixed up with a, a bunch of other cakes of figs, so then they're all going to be, they're all going to be, that's going to be bottle, right? Truma is bottle in a hundred. So if you have one one f- cake of figs, that, that's that's truma, that fell into a hundred, so he's going to say that it's bottle, right? So now, if it would be an Issa Dairaisa, it would not be bottle. If it's an Issa Dairabonon, it's going to be bustle, bottle. Now, the thing with this is, is that the thing, the thing with this is, is that normally we know bittel. Let's go with shishim because that's something we're familiar with, right? You have a piece of meat that falls into your your pasta. Right? As long as it's sixty times more pasta, and obviously you can't find the meat. If you find the meat, then you have to take it out, right? But let's say you can't find the meat, and it's got mixed in with the pasta. So as long as we know there's sixty times more, then it's bottle. However, there's a din called dabar shabiminian which is anything that gets sold by the number, not, not in estimation and not by the pound, is never bottled because it's considered a double chashav and can't be bottled. It's like Lamashal eggs, right? So eggs get sold by the piece, right? You get a dozen eggs, right? Apples and oranges, you're buying by the pound, right? So if, if you sell eggs, it's exclusively sold by the piece. So therefore, eggs will not be bottled because that's a double chashav minion. And it's not bottle. But you have apples, which sometimes can be sold by the piece, and sometimes can be sold by the pound. So we're going to have a machlaikas now between Rishlavish and Yachanan, whether something that is sometimes sold by the piece, but not always, is that, can, is that not going to be bottle or not? And they're going to say that, but a dairaisa, it's, it's, going to be, it's not going to be bottle, and by the rabbanon, it's going to be bottle. This is all right. according to Rabbi Yehuda? Rabbi Yehuda is coming on the base. No, but, but not according to Rabbi Yehuda. 
It's not according to the Minion is only Mibshainan anymore. Yeah, right. According to the Yudha, nothing's ever but Min Bamina is not bottle, correct. But even yeah. according to us, Min Bamina Dabash of a minion is bottle, no? It's only Min Bashaina. No, Dabam Shim Minion is never bottle. Anyway, so let, let's see. So again, he says, I'm really in. I'm going to show you. But what some people buy, commercially, they sell eggs by the pound, not by a dozen. Do bakeries, they, yeah? bakeries are up. They buy liquid eggs. And oh, li yeah, but so liquid eggs would, would be a different form. Liquid eggs yeah, would be a different, different form. Yeah, but it's a different form. Uh, so yeah. That could be, it's a different thing. And liquid, that's okay. actually interesting, right? On Amit Bezim, we're going to differentiate between meat that's liquid, you know, uh, melted meat and not. So yeah, okay. that's a good point. Anyway, so he says, Shani Shaina, I learned that Eagle Vigulim Oila. Oila means it goes up, meaning it's bottled. Yeah, so Amr Lay, so he said to him, Valoy Anish Shaina, Hatikha Bahatikha's Oila. I learned that one piece of meat, right? A, car, a carbon tome, a carbon chatos, that's tome, that fall, that one piece of meat from that, that falls into 60 um, pieces of tar. Tar chatos meat, that that's gonna work, right? So then he said, okay, so how's that working? You sell the you sell do you sell by the piece or not? So me sellers kol Do we learn that the mission is saying that it's anything that's the derech to count, right? And therefore it can be bottle as shedark as shedark not kol shedark as shedark if it has the derech limnashinu. My he, what are, what, are, what are we talking about? The Tanan, because we learned in a mission. If somebody had a bundle of Tilson, what do you call Tilson? Uh, I don't know what it's called. Fenigree. Right? Rashi says Fenigree, right? Whatever that is. But, anyways, it's Klaya Karim. Klaya Karim is awesome, right? Because Isn't that one of the things that Rosh Hashanah? I think so. Yeah. Things up. One of the things, okay. yeah. One of the things for the new generation. The old generation, we didn't have, so, I don't know where, I don't know where I fall, but uh, yeah. For your generation, for the for those that read the Ketiris from the Klopp every day, yes, Van Greek is one of the main, main the heroes of, of, of Rosh Hashanah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> right, so anyway, so Mishael Chavile Tilson Shaklayakarim. If somebody has this bundle of Tilson of Klayakarim, Klayakarim is, is also by no. So what do you do? So you'd you 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 so you gotta you gotta burn it. This arbu bachers, but let's say it got mixed into others. And now what? So Aunt Ahmed Bays. It's a fine looking Ahmed for for Air of Shabbos. Yeah. So um Kulan Yidoku. So you're gonna have to light them all. It's not bottle. Right? So that's why you have to, there's no there's no pitol on them. Yeah, Remeir, that did remain, that's Remeir. Yalu Baekhru Masayim. It goes one in two hundred. One in two hundred is bottles. Shoy Rameir, I'm a culture darkly monis, Mekadish. Anything that's the derech to count it. So Mekadish is a is a term used um for for Klaya Karim for whatever reason. They use it, it becomes Kaddish, but it doesn't really mean because Kaddish. it means the opposite. It's Kaddish that you can't use it. Right? Meaning he's saying it's not bottle at all. It's not. It's not just, it's not just, um, it's not, uh, not just, not everything that could be counted. It's only six types of things that are considered chashu enough, right? Rabbi Kiva, I'm a shiva. Rabbi Kiva says it's seven types of things that are chashu enough. And Elohim, what are they? A goizim perach, which is like these uh, a goizim that from perach. Which means they're obviously very chosh of uh, fruits. The chavi estumas in a sealed sealed bottle of, ba of wine, right? That's considered chosh I think we could all agree to that on this stuff here that a barrel, closed barrel of wine is very chosh It's not going to be bottle. Um, the chilfei trodin and some sort of beets. The kolchei kruv and stalks of cabbage. With the last yivanis and, and gourds from yavan. Rabbi Kiva Moisif, af kikras shel balabais. Even the even bread that's made dafka by a balabayas. A toysin says it's made by a by a balabayas because they're much bigger, right? So therefore it's more chashuv. So either way, haruyin la arla. If any of these things fell into arla, then the whole mixture is going to be arla. The klaya karim. If it goes into klaya karim, then the whole thing is going to be is going to be klaya karim, right? So so. Um, so therefore, it's gonna. That's the machlokes over whether things 
are are uh, which types of things do we say are never bought on Rabbi Yochanan Tzavar as Shadar Kelimna Shininu. Rabbi Yochanan is saying that it goes with whatever is the derech to be counted. Reishlokish Tzavar Kol Shadar Kelimna Shininu. Right, anything that it's normally counted, but it doesn't necessarily have to be counted now. Again, the machloikis is is whether we say es shedarko limnois, meaning it has to always be sold by the by the number, and that's the way Rabbi Yochanan says. Rabbi Shalke says no, it's just it has to be normally. It's the derech to do it, but it doesn't necessarily have to be now. So that's that's the machloikis. Fine. Now, what's the case of chaticha? Right. So my chaticha. Right, so what is what is what's the case of a piece of meat falling into other meat? Tanya, so now there's going to be a fine difference between the, the ratio here and the safer here. And tomorrow's dap as the Shem is going to be discussing what the difference is between them. There's going to be a few to roots. But either way, Khatikha Shokhatas Tame. If you have a piece of khatas that's tame, that gets mixed in with a hundred pieces of khatas tahiris. Again, so in the ratio, they're both khatas. It's one piece of khatas tame. And a hundred pieces of chatas tar, bechain prusa shalechem aponim tameya, and then a piece of the lechem aponim, right? That was was removed from the shulchan every Shabbos. That was tamei shenasar bemeya prusa shalechem aponim tohiras. That got mixed in with a hundred pieces of lechem aponim tohiras. So again, they're both the same. One is tamei. One there's one tuma and a hundred tar. So again, if they're all tamei, they they then they can't be eaten. If they're going to be considered bottled, then they're tar, they could be eaten. So tala, so the one says that works, it becomes bottle. That's the Tanakama holds, it will become bottle. Rabbi Yehuda, I'm sala. Right? Rabbi Yehuda says, no, it does not go up, and you can, it's not bottle. Yeah, we'll see why Rabbi Yehuda says it in a minute. That's the ratio. Av the sefer, av chaticha, shot chatas, tahira. But of a piece of meat that's from a carbon chatas, that's tahar. Shenis arba, mea chaticha, shot chulin, tahiras. So here it's chatas tar that's falling into chulin tar. Again, the ratio was chatas tame falling into 100 pieces, pieces of chatas tar. The sefer is one piece of chatas tar that's mixed into 100 pieces of, of chulin. So tahiras, hashal chulin tahiras, the vechein prusa shalechem aponim tahira, shenesarim mea prusin shal chulin tahiras, divri akol loy sala. Everybody hold, it's not bottle. Right, so now what's a pshat that it's not bottle? So the way Rashi explains it is that the second case it can be eaten by kehanim. Let's say you say it's not bottle, right? So everything is tar here. What's the worst that it is? Let's say it's not bottle. So it's a hundred p hundred and one pieces of chulin, not chulin. I'm sorry, of uh, kachim, right? Big deal. So you give it to a kayan. What's the oh? So you say I got to sell it to a kayan. You have to sell it for cheaper because there's not as many buyers, right? There's much, but there's many more Yisraelim. Okay, so for a small loss, there's no reason to say that it's bottle. But in the ratio, if you're going to say that the mixture is not bottle, then you're ruining the whole entire mixture. It's a very important. It's a very important rule in Hilchas Kasher Stam when trying to answer all these types of shilas. It depends how big the loss is. Right, so in the ratio, it's a major loss. If you say it's not bottle, the whole thing's in the garbage. In the safe, it's not in the garbage. It'll be a small loss to Yisrael, but you could still sell it to a kohen. So anyway, that's the that's the difference between the ratio and the safe. So okay, what is it going to want with this katani mias ratio? We learned the ratio that tala, that it that it works, right? And Rish Lakish said that anything that's normally sold when by when sold by the piece, it's not bottle, right? And here we said a chaticha is bottle, at least according to to the Tanakama. So I'm talking about where the piece of meat melted down. And since it melted down, it's not, it's no longer can be, it can't be sold. So therefore, it's not no longer chashuv, and therefore it's bottles. Right? But at a chanami, if it wouldn't be nimucha, then it would be a problem. So I'm going to ask the Yahi my time to if it's melted down, so then why does Rabbi Yehuda say that it's not bottle? Right? And the ratio is a machlaika. So why does Rabbi Yehuda say it's not bottle? I'm talking about Aleph now. Rabbi Yehuda says that min bemino is never bottle. Rabbi Yehuda says that min bemino is never bottle. That's what Gershon was referring to. Rabbi Yehuda holds bechlal. Anytime you have one type of taste, that falls, one thing that falls into the exact same thing, he says it's never bottle. Because you're going to benefit from that taste. Again, the whole thing with mixtures is, is are you going to benefit from this thing that fell in or not? So if it's min bechain bemino, you could taste it. And you see 
are you benefiting from it? If you're not benefiting from it, then you're then it's fine. But min bemino, there's no way to tell that. So therefore, Rabbi Yudha says, Rabbi Yudha has a Pchidish, which we don't pass in like, right? Then he says that one min and another min, you're automatically benefiting from it, and therefore it's not going to be not going to be bottom. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry for the delay. I hope this was understandable, and we continue with the sugya. Um, we're saying 9:45. So good Shabbos and Mazel Tov to Yeshua Marchik on the Shalom Zacher again. And Shavu Lan and Achas. See Yaakov. Yeah. Mr. Lang, Mr. Lang, Oliver Shalom, Shelly Lang's father. So he were, he was the manager by uh, Carmel's appetizing. So he told me that the unscrupulous pickle dealers. So let's say a, a barrel of pickles held a hundred pickles on the Zogin for this conversation, right. right? So the guys who were crooked, they would put in eighty pickles and they would put a a block of ice in the bottom of the barrel, so it weighed the same thing. But you never it found says, it. You never found it because the ice melt. You know, the ice just mixed in with all the juice after a few days. Yeah, yeah. There was a, yeah every bit. So I'm talking, you know, about the rive and everything. Didn't that 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 barrel did not have enough pickles in it? It's interesting. Yeah. That's that's uh, that's interesting. Interesting scam. Yeah, yeah. I hear you. All right, Rebrave, we miss you in the mornings. Been busy. I'm here in Florida. Are you in Florida again? Yeah. You know, it's we almost closed, summer. We closed on the place today. Oh, Mazel Tov. Oh, Mazel Tov. <laughs>